The Writers Guild of America is readying for a potential strike. So why would they strike? How could your favorite TV shows be affected if they do? And when was the last time a WGA strike occurred? Let's break it down. The WGA's current three-year contract with the Alliance of Motion Pictures and Television Producers expires Monday at midnight. In their next contract, the WGA is asking for better compensation and working conditions for writers amid the rise of streaming services. According to the WGA, quote, while series budgets have soared over the past decade, median writer-producer pay has fallen. Over the weekend, the two sides attempted to reach an agreement when it comes to residuals and data transparency from streamers, as writers currently get paid fixed residual fees for streaming content, without getting rewarded for a title's success the same way they do when a series is rerun on broadcast. The last writer's strike in 2007 and 2008 lasted 100 days and cost the California economy an estimated $2.1 billion. It resulted in many shows being canceled, with companies relying on reality TV as networks leaned into unscripted programming. The 65th Golden Globes were also canceled, with winners' names announced during a press conference instead. This time around, if an agreement is not reached, a work stoppage will likely begin on May 2nd, and writing for television, feature films, and streaming series would be halted. This would have a large impact on the production of late-night shows such as Jimmy Kimmel Live, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, Late Night with Seth Meyers, and Saturday Night Live, as it would put a stop to any new writing from WGA members. Additionally, a strike in May might delay the network television season, as writers on Fall Network series typically start work in May or June ahead of the season premieres. Since rumors of a strike have been looming for months, networks and streamers like Netflix have been trying to get ahead of the possible work stoppage by stockpiling scripts, handing out early renewals, and amassing unscripted titles that do not involve unionized writers. Netflix co-CEO Ted Sarandos said of a potential strike, we really don't want this to happen, but we have to make plans for the worst, and so we do have a pretty robust slate of releases to take us into a long time." Warner Brothers Discovery president and CEO David Zaslov also has said the company has content lined up should a work stoppage occur. For more on this story and the latest updates, head to THR.com. This is The Hollywood Reporter News.